Okay, so in this problem, we're going to be given a number that is not in scientific notation, but does use the base 10, right? You see a 10 over here. Um, and our job is to rewrite it in scientific notation, right? They tell us that Mary tried to write a number in scientific notation, and this is her answer. How would you write this number in scientific notation? That's just a way of pointing out that this is not in scientific notation. If you look at our first number here, this number is not in the form that we need to use for scientific notation. This first number has to be some number, right, and I'll write it in several ways, it has to be some number, let's call it A, that's positive or negative, so we can say the absolute value of A is what? Well, it's greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. And if that's throwing you off a little bit, we can put this on a number line, right? If we set up a number line and say, oh, what values can we pick for this first number? Well, here's 0. Let's put 1 right here. And it's not to scale, so I'm going to hop up a little bit. It's not perfectly to scale. And this is negative 1 and negative 10. So A could be any number between 1 and 10. It can include 1, so you could use 1 as a number. That's the greater than or equals uh, sign here means, and it can go all the way up, right, to 10, but not including 10, so put an open circle there. So it could be any number from 1 through 10, including 1. It could be the number 5, A could be 5, that would be okay. It could be 9.999, right, as long as it's not equal to 10, we're all set. But it could also be negative, that's why I put the absolute value here. So we could write on this side that A could be equal to negative 1. 1 and negative 1 are the same absolute value, same distance from 0. And A could be any no negative number all the way down, right, to negative 10, but not including negative 10. So we could have a negative number like negative 1.009. We could have a negative number like negative 9.9. .9. But we can't have a negative number that has an absolute value of greater than 10. So in other words, it can't be something like negative 10.1 or 10.1, that wouldn't work. So any of those values work. So these problems are pretty typical, right? We want to use that knowledge and then our understanding of how to work with powers of 10 to rewrite this number. So we could write this in standard form, right? We could write this out in standard form and figure it out, but I don't want to do that. I just want to use my understanding of powers of 10. So I need this number to be a number that's bigger than or equal to 1, less than 10. It's a positive number already, so I know it's going to be something over here. So I'm going to move my decimal from where it is two places to the right. Because literally, if I put the decimal there between the 1 and the 4, I get the number 1.45. And if I go back to my scale over here, that does fit within the parameters. Try and put the decimal anywhere else. Go ahead, try it. Put it anywhere else, and you won't get a number that fits in this range. Now, we don't want to change our number value, right? Because when I move my decimal twice to the right, I've made the number how many times larger? I've made it 100 times larger by moving it twice to the right. Take this number, multiply it by 100, and you would get 1.45. So to balance that out, to make sure the whole number here, because the whole number really includes all of this, to make sure this whole number is, is the same value, I divide this part by 10. So it becomes times 10 to the negative 12. I'm going to divide this by... Uh, sorry, 10 squared. I don't know if I said 10 there. Uh, we divide by 10 twice. So what would what would happen here on the right? Well, when you divide by 10 squared, right, you subtract 2 from your exponent because we're dealing with the laws of exponent situation here, and we get 1.45 times 10 to the negative 14. So notice how the negative 14 is a number that's two lower than negative 12, right? Because we took two powers of 10 away from this value. So here is our number in scientific notation. And you can verify that by writing it out in standard form. We would get, um, sorry, I put the 1 over here, 1, 4, 5, times 10 to negative 14 means divide by 10 14 times. So we go 14 places to the right. All right and I don't want to actually even count. I'm feeling too lazy there. I know I want to get 13 zeros. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and I'm running out of room. I'll squeeze two more in. 12, 13 zeros. So this, by the way, 
This gives a little insight into why you don't want to deal with standard form. It's annoying, right? And this is relatively a small exponent. If I gave you a much higher exponent, like uh, negative 10,000, imagine even attempting to write that out. It would be beyond tedious. It would really take away from the mathematics uh, that we're trying to understand. All right, hope this helped.